Greetings fellow members of the Esoteric Order of Gamers and it's another unboxing and today we've got Black Orchestra by Game Salute. Now this copy came to me uh, without cost because I've done some work on this game. I put one of my rules summaries in there and I also did some uh, rules proofing as well for Game Salute. And uh, I'm very excited to get a copy because I think it's a very attractive game. And it looks like a lot of fun as well. Got a couple of extra little promos here. An extra card, they came with it, but let's check out the main box first. Now, look at that cover. Isn't that a great cover? Lovely colour scheme. Here's the back. Black Orchestra, the year is 1936. And this is a game about the assassination attempts on Hitler as uh, various people in German High Command try to do away with uh, complete and utter rotter. So, interesting historical theme. I wish I had more historical games in my collection. Actually, I must amend that and start getting some good ones in there. But, we're starting off with Black Orchestra. Let's look inside. Let's unbox it. Take off this shrink wrap. There we go. Here's our rule book, and of course it's black, which is very appropriate. It's a it's a smaller size than normal. I quite like that handy little size. Now I know these rules rather well because I put some effort into helping proof them, and they're very nicely laid out, very clear. And in fact, the graphic design style throughout this game is excellent. Really like it. Oh, sweet. oh, there we go. Editing and reference design, Peter Gifford. That's me. Yay! And here's my little summary sheet. As you can see, it's very much like the usual Esoteric Order of Gamers summary sheet, except this time it's printed and comes with the game. Here's a counter sheet. And here's our board. Now... Squarish board. Here we go. Very nice it is too. There's a lot of information on the board itself, which actually is something that really takes me back to the early days of board gaming. Um, in early games they used to put a lot of info on the board and it's something that's sort of gone out of fashion a little bit, but I like it for this one. It sort of suits the theme. So here's the various places uh, in Germany and nearby that you go to and various things you do in order to advance your plots. Very nice. So we've got some um, cubes, a couple of pawns, some very nice custom dice. Here they are, great dice. Very nice indeed. Here are our conspirator sheets. This is a cooperative game, by the way. Look at that graphic design, very nice. Great illustration style too, just st slightly stylized. Works very well. And we've got some card decks. Let's have a look at these. So here we have the cards that come with the game. To start with, we've got 84 event cards that come in seven different stages. The stage numbers on the back. And here are our event cards, standard cards, the standard events, important events and key events. And some good historical photography on there, which is good as well. Very interesting, quite educational. This would be a, a good game to play with a history class, I imagine. If you were discussing World War II and the attempts to assassinate Hitler. Then we've got 24 interrogation cards. Lots of information on those. Twelve plot cards. These are the various 
assassination attempts. Again, lovely design. Like the plot cards, these are conspirator cards. These ones are illegal ones. And we've also got some standard ones. Finally, there's a victory card. We killed Hitler. Woohoo! That's what you get in the base game. Also with the second edition Kickstarter, there was this promo card, Resistance Broadcast, and this classified envelope, which holds, I believe, some more conspirators. Yes, there they are, three more conspirators for the game. That's a look inside Black Orchestra, published by Game Salute, and a very, very attractive game it is too, with a very interesting theme. And I hope enhanced a little bit by a Universal Head Esoteric Order of Gamers rules summary sheet. So go out and grab yourself a copy. I think it's well worth playing. I'm looking forward to getting this to the table. And the great thing is, I don't have to make a rule summary for it. It's done! Ha! Ah, it's even printed! I don't have to do a thing! Yay! Woohoo! Woohoo! Ha ha! Woo!